What's up guys, I'm back for some more of XCOM Enemy Within. We just finished up a UFO crash mission, which was really easy. I did lose a soldier, it's the first one I've had get killed in this entire playthrough. And honestly, since I've played XCOM, I've only ever had... That's my third ever soldier to die in single player. The other two died during uh, a impossible Iron Man playthrough. So, it was my first time ever using a mech. It was my third third mission using the mech, and it just it got killed in two hits by an enemy mech. And I, I'm not even mad. The, the mech thing just didn't work out for me. I don't understand what the point of them is, because they can't hide behind cover, they can't climb ladders or go on top of buildings, and they have less health and armor than my regular soldiers and do less damage so all around they are just much worse than pretty much any i'd rather have a rookie with just a laser pistol than a mech so let's uh keep going here go to mission control and just scan laboratory that laboratory that's going to be done I think all of my spots are filled now, yeah. So our research shouldn't take too long anymore. Uh, we have the plasma rifle that will be done in four days, and uh, I can't really buy anything until the end of the month, which is in a few days now, so let's just keep scanning. Alright, let's uh, get a new project in here. Improved med kit. Let's do that one. We're certainly keeping the boys down in the foundry busy. Okay, our covert operative is ready. Let's go uh, extract them. All right, let's, uh, let's do it. We are confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. All right. Um. Who do I want to send? Okay, so these missions don't really take a lot of moving around, and there's usually a lot of enemies in them that can be killed pretty quickly. So I'm gonna keep going with this. This is this isn't even really my B squad. This is more of like my C or D squad. Um, so I'm just gonna keep going with these guys and. I'm actually going to hire a new soldier. Actually, you know what? Let me, uh, hold on. Barracks, uh, officer training school. Okay, um,. I need uh, $75 total, so let's uh, go sell some stuff. Thin man corpses, don't need that many of those. Alright, that's enough. Let's go do it. I'm gonna get the uh, new guy thing, just uh, cause I'm gonna get a new hire here and, oh, I need 30 more dollars. Um, just to take on this mission, because these missions have gotten pretty, pretty easy. Let's go with... Oh man, what do I do? Any damage stuff? Oh, nice. That's exactly how much I needed. Alright, let's hire someone, see what they turn into. Let's hire another one. Alright, what do we got? Oh, when you hire new soldiers, it takes time. I forgot about that. Okay, it's going to take three days to get them. So we have to go on the mission with the soldiers we have right now. Let's do it. I just don't want to take Excellent. my colonels on this mission because it's, to seeing it's your such an easy mission to do. And you'd basically just stand right in the middle of the uh, 
the green glowing square and kill the enemies as they come at you. I think all of these people are max level. So the question is, who do I need? Yeah, I'll go ahead and take a, a really good assault because I don't have any assaults here. So that should work out. I'll just give her the carapace armor. She doesn't need the titan armor. She doesn't need a scope either. We'll just give her a bunch of grenades for this mission. It's not like she's gonna die or anything. Strike one. Prepare for landing. Our latest sweep indicates an exalt cell operating within France. Once Strike One is in position to provide an escort, our operative can complete the operation. After this, I might actually uh, try and do some more implants on my soldiers at the genetics lab. And once those are done, I think I'm going to start doing the um, final missions of the game and our operative was in position to Exalt transmit the data they'd acquired when Exalt stuff. forces moved into their AO. The encoder is currently shielding our transmitter's position, but if Exalt manages to hack the encoder, they'll be able to locate the transmitter. If they hack both, any hope we had of recovering the data intact will be lost. Objectives updated. All right, let's uh, start this off like usual. Now, usually there's three... Where is my covert operative? Right here. Okay. Usually there are three enemies that are somewhere around here, and then three more usually come every turn after that. That's what I've kind of noticed. So we're just going to kind of move up a bit slowly. Who's dead to get? I do want to get someone up on top over here. Let's do this. Might even get. I don't know, I, I might even want to put my whole squad up top here. Yeah, Position my, my heavy should go up there. Running. You know what, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my heavies Already and my there. sniper up on this bus and then have my other three kind of rush in there. Someone is attempting to access the encoder, Commander. We can't allow Exalt to hack that equipment or they're going to locate the transmitter. Okay, so first, right off the bat, let's take him up here. I'm rolling. far away to attack. Let's see if we can kill that one. Oh. 
I have it covered. Hunt him down. Rolling out. Probably gonna get some shots off on me. Hey, Marta. Baja confirmada. Oh, nice. I... Oh, I killed that one. Cool. Okay, um. Going in for the kill. This will run and gun. Right up to here. Orders confirmed on the move. Hostile spotted. Oh man, there's more of them. You know what? Oh man. I'm gonna have to just fire at him. something. I don't know what these guys are doing. Make it. Hostiles pacified. Yeah, the um, the heavy gunners they actually work really good as a bodyguard or a spotter for your sniper. I used I did that tactic in XCOM 2 a lot. I would have my group of four soldiers, and then I would have my sniper who would snipe from long range. And then you want him to have someone like with a lot of firepower kind of protecting him. So, like a troop that can kill pretty much any, any single enemy uh, instantly in one turn. And that's usually going to be your heavy soldier. I am on it. So you basically you have a sniper, a bodyguard for the sniper that also can act as a spotter, and then a squad of four people that actually go in and get the mission objective done. Moving. I might actually toss a grenade with her. Oh man, that was some terrible odds. Hurrah! 
Moving to position. Those two now. Eat this. I'm just kind of trying to tear them down right now. Take out the cover. Especially with that smoke. Alright, I've got don't have many shots left here, but I think I can kill one with him. Let's go ahead and go for it. Oh, didn't make it, I should have done the headshot. far away I can't seem to uh, get close enough. Oh, get me out of here! Good to go. Uh, it's funny, he's running away. You little bitch. Alright, we should be able to wipe these guys out. Commander, we've got multiple hostiles inbound on Strike One's position. Enemy reinforcements are closing in. <laughs> All right, I think it's about time for some rockets. With pleasure. Oh man. Oh shit, I hit my own soldier. I accidentally double tapped A back there. Oh man. She's at one health. Heading 
there now. Okay, this is my last one, but they're at one health, so I have to be kind of uh, careful here with what I do with her. But I want to get that kill. So let's put her here out because that's heavy coverage with plus the smoke. Oh man, she can't even hit him. On uh, Overwatch. Some of these people are going to be in the uh, going to be in the micro for a bit. Common. All right, let's just make sure we are That's affirmative. in good positions here Scanning. to hit them. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Hostile contacts closing on Strike One's position, Commander. Training ammo fast. Thinking I might as well just have everyone posted up on That's these vehicles around here. On Overwatch. Estoy en marcha. Recibido. Estoy vigilando. Sector four. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Watching for activity on Overwatch. Got it covered. It looks like this is the last of the hostile reinforcements, Commander. We just need to hold out a little longer. Nailed it. Burning through ammo. Fast. I'll get him next time. I really need to get, get a kill with my sniper this turn.
I never seem to level the sniper up just because he can never kill anything. Starting to drop uh, enemies in with like laser rifles and stuff. some ammunition. It's 100% critical, so let's do it. Commander, the transmitter has been secured and we're not picking up any other Exalt forces moving in the area. Another job well done. Alright, we should have gotten uh, quite a few promotions there, I'm hoping. That was the whole point of taking most of those troops there. And we need to start uh, some troops in the genetics lab, because I like to have a squad of uh, fully trained soldiers for the final missions and these genetic implants are alright let's go ahead and throw it down now I thought I, I thought in the XCOM games you could get like uh, your soldier to be like a I want to call him a wizard, but, um, let's see. Increase the area of effect of suppression and all rocket attacks by two tiles. Let's just get the grenade. Yeah, I thought you can get, uh, like, super soldiers that can use, like, mind control or something. I kind of remember that. Uh, maybe that's XCOM 2. I'm not quite sure. Okay, um, Gunslinger, Damn Good Ground. Alright, he's not a Gunslinger mobile sniper, so I'm going to give him that. And he'll get the Grenader as well. And he's got another support. That worked out pretty good. Intel decryption completed. Recalculating possible exalt facility locations. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I should be doing a couple more today, so just stay tuned. And we'll get through this playthrough probably tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Alright, take care guys.